my name is Ian Roger and I'm Conrad's Xterra coach. I'm a sports scientist uh, with a special interest in cycling. Well, we're doing some baseline testing on Conrad. Uh, we've got data extending back several years. So what we want to do is compare his pre-season form so we can see, well, how he compares to previous years and so that we can set his training zones and identify what areas we need to work on immediately for his upcoming competition. So we know what his requirements are to succeed um, in the various events he's doing. So with that reductionist approach, we can then carve up his results and then really get to work on what aspects we want to train at what time of the year to get him to the required form at the, at the appropriate time. So he'll be, his main goal, of course, is to uh, be peaking for the World Championships, the World Xterra Champs, um, towards year end. So, so right now, it's really, really baseline stuff. He's, he's coming off a layoff, and uh, he's got a few little niggles, so he's really in a general conditioning phase rather than top-end training. But again, it's all very good information because he does all his training on the bike to power. And so because we know exactly what his uh, capacity is, as tested in the laboratory, we can then evaluate his training, or set and evaluate his training much, much better. We're doing one of the universal protocols for max testing, uh, so he's the workload will increase in a ramp of around about 10 watts a minute until he falls off the bike and we're looking to uh, get a maximal power in excess of 500 watts and that's what you need to do to be winning world championships. It's not just about the maximal power though but about the sustained power for any given duration and that's where we're analyzing his training data because every ride uh, I have his power and then I can examine his power and analyze his power together with his heart rate and all his comments and then collectively that enables me to refine his training on an ongoing basis based on how he's progressing and how he's uh, recovering from the training. Well, that's not something that athletes like to release too much, so we don't want to nail it down to the what, but um, for that kind of protocol, you know, we're talking uh, fairly generously in excess of 500 watts, but the real magic number is what the sustainable power would be over, say, half an hour to an hour. At the World Champs, uh, exterior World Champs, there's a, a climb of about 50 minutes, and that's what we're really targeting. We want to make sure that he's got the power to weight ratio to get up there with the uh, little squirrely guys, because he's a, he's a big fellow. So he's got to get his power to weight ratio to match them, to be in with the chance to uh, win the race overall. And that's, uh, that kind of power we're looking at also well over five watts, mm -hmm. about five and a half watts a kilo plus that he needs to do to get over that climb with the front guys and still run well. So he's got the ability, it's just the conditioning. So his, his, num his numbers are on a par with, uh, with, with professional road riders. Um, his power to weight ratio isn't as good as your average professional road rider because your average professional road rider is uh, usually a bit lighter. Um, but his, his maximal power is, is right up there. My name is Ian Roger and I'm Conrad's exterior coach. I'm a sports scientist uh, with a special interest in cycling. Well, we're doing some baseline testing on Conrad. Uh, we've got data extending back several years. So what we want to do is compare his pre-season form so we can see, well, how he compares to previous years and so that we can set his training zones and identify what areas we need to work on immediately for his upcoming competition. So we know what his requirements are to succeed um, in the various events he's doing. So with that reductionist approach, we can then carve up his results and then really get to work on what aspects we want to train at what time of the year to get him to the required form at the, at the appropriate time. So he'll be, his main goal, of course, is to uh, be peaking for the World Championships, the World Xterra Champs, um, towards year end. 